What's up, Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And today, we are gonna test out the Madden Ultimate Team practice mode with some pass rushing abilities. So we're gonna test out the double or nothing and X threat pass rush abilities by themselves. And we're also gonna test it combined against the offensive linemen with edge protector and without edge protector. So I'm using two of the best edge rushers in the game, Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor, and the two best offensive tackles in the game, left tackle with Joe Thomas and right tackle Jackie Slater. See what kind of pressure we can get without any abilities and also with those abilities uh, to see what the difference is. So first we're going to try with no abilities on our edge rushers and no abilities on our offensive tackles, I've got Lawrence Taylor on the left side of the screen and Reggie White on the right side of the screen. And we're not even going to throw the ball. I just want to see who gets to them first. So Lawrence Taylor uh, did get to the quarterback first. It took him a little while to get around uh, the offensive tackle. Uh, see if we can do this again. And he again um, got faster around the edge. Uh, so we'll do this a third time and then uh, I'll mix up actually the uh, edge rushers uh, sides uh, to see and actually Sam Adams got to uh, the quarterback first before anybody. So we're going to um, go back and uh, swap Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor uh, to see if, uh, if there's a difference in, um, in the pass rush that they get. All right, um, and again, I'm not even gonna throw the ball. I just wanna see who gets to me first uh, and not too much of a pass rush. Uh, Reggie White did get around the corner better that time. I'm guessing Jackie Slater um, is a better um, pass protector. Yeah, must be, because uh, whoever is going around Joe Thomas um, is, uh, is getting around to the quarterback faster. So we'll do this one more time. And again, uh, Reggie White around the quarterback that time. And now I'm gonna switch to uh, not having, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, putting the double or nothing ability on our, our, our edge rusher. All right, so I just updated the abilities uh, for our edge rushers, put double or nothing, and you can see how fast they get around the edge with just that double or nothing ability activated on both of them. You can see the uh, star light up. Um, took a little longer that time, uh, but Reggie White actually got around um, the uh, right tackle uh, faster that time. And then for a third time, Lauren Taylor does do the spin move, gets to uh, the quarterback first. Um, we're going to uh, swap the um, Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White to see what uh, it looks like now. All right, so now we've got uh, Lawrence Taylor on the right side and um, Reggie White on the left. And Lawrence Taylor came in real quick that time. Gonna do this a few times, get a good sample. That time uh, Reggie White got around faster. The uh, running back picked him up though. And for a third time, and again, Reggie White did get around there faster. Uh, running back picked him up though. So um, came around pretty quick that time. Uh, now I'm going to um, go out of the game and put on um, just edge threat on them. All right, so back here now we have a just edge threat on both Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White. Um, seeing how quickly they get around. Um, did not get around as fast as the double or nothing ability I felt like that time. Um, but we're going to test this out a bunch of times to see uh, what type of pressure we get. And actually Richard Seymour got there first with uh, both Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor getting, out, getting there pretty quickly after. And yeah, it, edge threat, it does get around, but just not as fast as uh, the double or nothing ability, in my opinion. I'll do one more and then I'll swap the two uh, and did not get there quickly at all. That was a lot of time in the pocket. All right, so now I'm going to switch um, the Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor and swap their sides and see if uh, we get a better pass rush um, from one of them this time around. So Reggie White is on the left this time and Lawrence Taylor on the right and didn't really get there too, too quickly. Reggie White did get there first. You can see Reggie White star activating, but he's having a little trouble getting around Joe Thomas, it looks like. We'll do one more time, and then I'm going to actually put on both. I Reggie White got there real quick that time. We're going to put on both edge threat and double or nothing uh, to see um, what uh, type of pressure 
um, we uh, we can get it one more time. Then that took a while for uh, for just the extra. All right, I'm gonna close this out and come back with both abilities. Right, we are back and we have both edge threat and double or nothing now on both of them and you can see how quickly both of them got around the edge uh, with having those two abilities uh, tag team on top of them uh, and those tackles are literally getting thrown down to the ground those are two the two best offensive tackles in the game right now literally every single time they're getting uh, they're getting pancaked themselves on the ground so uh, we'll do this one more time I'm gonna swap them uh, but I imagine we are going to see the same exact animations uh, from both of them uh, Lawrence Taylor and um, and Reggie White and I like having both of those guys uh, because of the fact that they each get edge threat for uh, 2 AP and double or nothing for only one ability point uh, Cameron Wake is another uh, top level uh, edge rusher, um, but he uh, has to pay 4 AP for double or nothing. He does not get that as a discounted ability. He does get edge threat for only one ability point. Um, it looks like uh, Lawrence Taylor is definitely getting around the edge uh, faster than Reggie White, though, on, on these last couple times. Um, and this time, pretty much about the same time, but you can see how quickly uh, they get around the edge. That is, is really fast. Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, one more time. Yep, we are uh, definitely dominating our offensive line. Uh, so I'm going to uh, back out and we're actually going to put on edge protector on both of our tackles now. And everybody has abilities. So Joe Thomas and Jackie Slater both have edge threat on them. Uh, I'm sorry, edge protector. And then Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor both have edge threat and double or nothing. Uh, so we're going to see if our tackles do not get completely dominated like they did uh, last time around. And they are definitely holding their own. Sam Adams actually came through the middle first before anybody. Um, but uh, our offensive tackles definitely held their own that time around. And this time, Lawrence Taylor did get the spin move. But took him, uh, you know, a, a definitely a couple extra seconds um, than uh, when we did not have edge protector on our tackles. And yeah, that, that's just some really good protection. So... Um, I'm going to swap them out in a moment, um, the size that Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White are on. Um, but yeah, you can see that uh, you definitely need edge protector at this uh, point in the game with how fast um, the edge rushers are in the game and the discounted abilities. I had mentioned before, uh, both Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White get the edge threat ability for 2 AP and the double or nothing ability for only 1 AP, which is why they are my two favorite um, pass rushers in the game right now. Um, and uh, there is Mario Williams, but he's still going for 2 million coins. Um, that's quite a bit. Uh, you can sometimes get him for like 1.5, 1.6 million if you are paying attention trying to uh, uh, snipe him throughout, throughout the day. But you are, for the most part, going to be paying 2 million or more. Um, so still not getting too much pressure. I mean, they are getting to the quarterback. Obviously, I'm not throwing the ball. So, um, but uh, with the spin move, oh, actually, he just got uh, faked out by John Elway. Um, but uh, Mario Williams only has to pay one AP for each of them. Uh, so for double or nothing and edge threat, those are both one ability point. There is the Cameron Wake card. Um, he gets edge threat for one AP, but he does not get double or nothing for discounted AP. So you're gonna pay four AP. So um, in my opinion, the combination of edge threat and double or nothing is lethal. Um, and you also want to have a card that gets defensive rally. So defensive rally ability gives an extra pass rush point on both third down and fourth down. Uh, there's a couple cards that get that for discounted ability. Richard Seymour gets it for zero ability points. So I would recommend having him in as a uh, rush defensive tackle so that you have him on third down and fourth down. Um, and uh, that way it makes it so that Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White, they're losing twice the amount of ability points uh, each each play. So getting the extra pass rush point makes it so that they always have enough points uh, to use that double or nothing ability, get that activated. Um, there's a couple other um, defensive linemen that get it for only one ability point, but Richard Seymour is definitely your best option um, to, uh, to get it for zero. He's the only guy right now that gets it for zero AP. But uh, that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, this practice mode is is brand new to Madden Ultimate Team. You know, we've been asking for this as a community for a while to be able to do stuff like this. Um, I will be testing out other abilities, uh, pass rushing abilities, offensive line abilities, you know, wide receiver, defensive backs, whatever you guys want to see. 
you want me to test out a specific ability, um, let me know in the comment section and uh, you know, I'll try to get that done. And if you want me to do a different style or you know, different you know, setup as far as you know, how I do these types of videos, um, let me know and uh, you know, I'll try to get that done for you. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, make sure you show some support, hit that like button and subscribe to my uh, channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.